Uh huh. I'm here. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the Upper Cantina. Since then I've been desperate to find a match. You don't have a deck? Well, we can't play unless you have your own deck. Maybe you should go talk to Garouk in the upper cantina. He's looking to retire from the game, so he might sell you his deck. He'd probably even throw in a free lesson for you. Just come back and speak to me when you get your deck. Go away. Kipona Three. female of my own species. My name's Holden, baby. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang, you know? I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows you can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. It's not like it's some big secret. It's kind of hard for Davik to keep a low profile when he belongs to a big intergalactic crime syndicate like the Exchange. Davik's ship is the fastest one in the entire quadrant. But even the Evanhawk can't get off Taurus until the quarantine is lifted. The Sith fleet has the planet surrounded. Any ship leaving orbit without proper access codes will be disintegrated by the Sith auto-targeting laser cannons. And those codes are locked safely away in the military base. Davik's pretty upset about it. His smuggling operation isn't making any money. But even with his underworld connections, he can't get his hands on those codes. Hate to see a pretty lady leaving, but you ain't the only girl in this place. I guess I'll go back to enjoying the dancers. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. <laughs> Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Just a sec, boys. Solbar, a little help here? 
I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise. So get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Volker gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well. We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden vets are watching you. right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker Spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Volkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? The escape pods? No, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. 
Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? I mean, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Volker base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity, but you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past it. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. I'm here. guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sercha! Itchu a penki! Watana wama mulira! Kenjunju pashak! No wa bully muli raji! Juni tun! Turji chiwi itado! Bola una dichek! Palamuri slimo wanga kun bisching! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here! Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden becks in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Only those with
with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later.